the systematic practice of MI5 blackmailing people, mainly from Muslim and migrant communities in this country, to become informers for MI5. Shame on MI5! Shame on That's right. Yes, absolutely. Now, now, immigration lawyers have been trying to expose this practice since at least the 1970s, when Irish people were being systematically blackmailed by MI5 to become police informers. After that conflict in Northern Ireland subsided, MI5 turned its attention to refugees from other places, for example, Kurdish refugees from Turkey, Tamil refugees from Sri Lanka who are likewise subjected to systematic blackmail and they were even more vulnerable because they were under threat of being deported back to the places from which they fled persecution. Now this whole scandal much, had a much bigger profile a week ago after Michael Ladebalajo carried out his ghastly murder in Woolwich because very quickly there was an interview on Newsnight with his friend who told the whole world that Michael had been previously detained and tortured, probably sexually abused, in detention in Kenya, which has been notorious for years for systematically torturing refugees, especially Somalis, and even just people passing through Kenya to reach Somalia, with the complicity of MI5, who feed questions to those authorities about people's lives in this country, who feed even the questions that should be asked, and sometimes even in the presence of the MI5 agents, who of course, whose names, of course, remain secret. While his friend was being interviewed on Newsnight, the police were alerted and they were waiting to arrest him on his exit from the BBC studios and arrest him under what charge? We don't know, but under anti-terror laws. And this perfectly illustrates the way the, these laws are used for, for systematically terrorizing Muslim and Muslim communities into silence about the crimes of the state. There's another whole area of this blackmail. Namely, the Somali communities in this country, especially in West London, North London, who likewise have been sub subjected to systematic blackmail and they were told by MI5, if you don't cooperate with us, then we will tell other governments that you are terrorists. MI5 made good on its threat. Sure enough, when these individuals traveled to countries in the Middle East, they were detained as terror suspects. Fortunately, they weren't, terror they weren't tortured, but they might well could have been, and now the whole community is frightened of, of s saying anything against US uh, or UK foreign policy for fear of what might happen to them. So we need to highlight the, the, the state crimes around blackmail, the threat of torture abroad, the actual torture abroad with the complicity of MI5, and especially to protect the whistleblowers.